Get ready for an interstellar shocker. A group of researchers claims that Betelgeuse, the mesmerizing red supergiant star on the shoulder of Orion, has already exploded. That's right, you heard correctly. In the next decade or so, its brilliant explosion will light up our night sky. But how did scientists arrive at this conclusion, and should we be concerned? Could the James Webb Space Telescope capture the remnants of Betelgeuse? Today we'll dive into the latest details about one of the most prominent stars in the northern winter sky. Betelgeuse, also known as Alpha Orionis, is among the handful of stars that shine brightly enough for the naked eye to see. Its reddish-orange hue makes it distinctive, and it ranks as the tenth brightest star in our night sky. However, Betelgeuse is no ordinary star. It is a variable star, meaning its brightness changes over time. This variability is partly due to its massive size. If Betelgeuse were to replace our Sun, it would extend all the way to the asteroid belt and have a mass over 1,000 times that of the Sun. Surprisingly, Betelgeuse is relatively young, with an estimated age of only 8 to 10 million years, compared to our Sun's age of about 4.6 billion years. This rapid aging is typical for supergiant stars, as they burn through their nuclear fuel quickly and reach the supernova stage much sooner than smaller stars. To understand how scientists concluded that Betelgeuse has already exploded, we need to explore its historical observations. The story begins around the 2nd century BC when Chinese astronomers noted that Betelgeuse exhibited a distinct yellow hue. Fast forward to the mid-2nd century AD, and the Greek astronomer Ptolemy described it as orange or reddish, a color similar to how we perceive it today. Ancient observers in the Middle East also noted its coloration. There's a possibility that Betelgeuse underwent a color change over the centuries, transitioning from a yellow supergiant to a red supergiant. Considering humanity's natural inclination to observe the night sky, many people across different cultures likely witnessed Betelgeuse's transformation but did not document it. Changes in a star's brightness could easily have gone unnoticed prompting questions like, didn't that star used to be brighter? Currently, Betelgeuse is a variable star exhibiting cyclic behavior. Beginning in December 2019, the star's brightness drastically decreased, which was noticeable to those familiar with it. This drop persisted until mid-2020, after which it began to recover. One theory suggests that these cycles coincided, leading to the significant dip in brightness. However, observations from the Hubble Space Telescope indicated that Betelgeuse had expelled a massive amount of hot material into space, forming a vast dust cloud that obscured much of its light. As a result, Betelgeuse's brightness plummeted from one of the top ten brightest stars to below the twentieth. Fortunately, Betelgeuse showed signs of recovery, but its behavior has become increasingly erratic. Recently, it has experienced a dramatic surge in brightness, exceeding its usual luminosity by a staggering 50%. This unusual occurrence is perplexing for a star already known for its variability. Possible explanations for the earlier dimming include dust or cyclic patterns, or even the presence of large sunspots. However, the recent increase in brightness is an entirely different phenomenon. Some scientists speculate that Betelgeuse may be nearing the supernova stage. While estimates still suggest that this event is approximately 100,000 years away, compelling evidence challenges this view. A significant recent scientific paper by Hideyuki and colleagues from Tohoku University in Japan suggests that Betelgeuse may have already undergone a supernova explosion, and we could be witnessing the aftermath within the next decade. So what's the evidence? According to this research, Betelgeuse's previous behavior aligns with characteristics of a star that has already detonated. If true, we could soon see the spectacular remnants of this explosion lighting up our skies. The last supernova recorded in our galaxy was Kepler supernova, which occurred in the early 17th century, so witnessing another event like Betelgeuse's would be historic and breathtaking. A cosmic explosion is not merely a spectacular event. It is a fundamental phase in the life cycle of stars. These explosions play a crucial role in dispersing heavy elements throughout the universe. Elements forged in the cores of massive stars become part of the interstellar medium, contributing to the formation of new stars and planetary systems. Therefore, 
studying stars like Betelgeuse allows astronomers to gain insights into the chemical enrichment of the universe and the forces driving stellar evolution. Betelgeuse's impending or recent supernova event would mark a significant moment in this celestial life cycle. Scientists are particularly interested in the processes that govern the transition from a massive star's final stages to its explosion. Current models suggest that as truly massive stars like Betelgeuse near the end of their lives, they undergo a series of complex processes, including core collapse and the shedding of outer layers. These phases are characterized by substantial mass loss, which can influence the star's brightness and variability. By observing Betelgeuse's changes, researchers can gain valuable insights into these processes and refine their models of stellar evolution. Furthermore, Historical records of Betelgeuse's brightness fluctuations and its reported color changes provide important clues about its past behavior. However, early astronomers' observations, limited by the technology of their time, have established a baseline for comparing current data. The star's transition from yellow to reddish-orange over centuries could reflect internal changes and its progression toward a supernova. This historical perspective enhances our understanding of how massive stars evolve and how their life cycles affect their surrounding environments. The potential for Betelgeuse to explode as a supernova also connects to our broader understanding of cosmic events. For example, studying supernovae helps cosmologists investigate the circumstances leading to different types of explosions. Type 1 supernovae typically result from thermonuclear explosions in binary star systems, while type II supernovae, like those anticipated from Betelgeuse, arise from the core collapse of massive stars. Understanding the differences between these events aids researchers in piecing together the history of our universe. Observational challenges, such as Betelgeuse's current position behind the Sun, highlight the complexities involved in studying such dynamic celestial objects. Despite these challenges, Astronomers employ various techniques to monitor stars that are temporarily obscured. They utilize space-based observatories and advanced telescopes to track changes in the star's light curves and analyze its spectral data. These methods provide crucial information about the star's composition, temperature, and potential for a supernova. Moreover, theoretical approaches play a significant role in predicting and interpreting supernova events. Researchers develop simulations that integrate current observations, historical data, and theoretical physics to forecast how a star like Betelgeuse might behave. These models assist in predicting the timing and characteristics of the explosion, offering insights into what observers might expect and how the blast will impact the surrounding space. The implications of a Betelgeuse supernova extend beyond the realm of astronomy. A supernova of this magnitude would enhance our understanding of cosmic rays and their effects on Earth. Although Betelgeuse's distance ensures it poses no threat to our planet, studying supernovae contributes to our knowledge of cosmic radiation and its interactions with Earth's atmosphere. This information is essential for understanding space weather and its potential effects on satellite operations and communication systems. Ultimately, the potential discovery of Betelgeuse's supernova remains a source of excitement and intrigue within the scientific community. Such an event would not only advance our understanding of stellar life cycles, but also captivate the public's imagination. The dramatic visual spectacle of a supernova visible for months or even years would undoubtedly inspire a new generation of astronomers and space enthusiasts. Public interest in cosmic phenomena often drives educational outreach and promotes scientific literacy, underscoring the importance of continued investment in space research and exploration. In conclusion, the anticipated supernova of Betelgeuse represents a significant milestone in our understanding of stellar evolution and cosmic events. Ongoing observations and theoretical work surrounding this star contribute to a broader comprehension of the universe's workings. As we await further insights from the James Webb Space Telescope and other observatories, the study of Betelgeuse continues to provide valuable knowledge about the dynamic processes governing massive stars and their ultimate fates. Whether Betelgeuse has already exploded or is approaching this dramatic event, its story illustrates the ever-evolving nature of our exploration of the universe and our relentless pursuit to unveil its mysteries. In an intensive assessment of Betelgeuse's variability patterns, Researchers have traced its historical cosmic explosions back to the 1600s. They identified four distinct periodic changes occurring over intervals of 2200, 
420, 230, and 85 days. While the origin of the longest cycle remains uncertain, it is likely the fundamental period, with the shorter intervals possibly serving as reminders of this longer cycle. Scientists propose a model suggesting that Betelgeuse is in a late stage of carbon burning, implying that it may be nearing a catastrophic explosion, positioning it as a strong candidate for the next potential supernova event within our Milky Way galaxy. However, there is still some mystery surrounding Betelgeuse. There are conflicting observations regarding its material ejection and subsequent recovery, but the general consensus leans toward a mass ejection event, something feasible for various types of stars, albeit on a smaller scale compared to our Sun notably, supernovae are real phenomena. We observed one in the Large Magellanic Cloud back in 1987. While our estimates for the timing of Betelgeuse's explosion may be uncertain, there's no need to start planning a vacation around it just yet. The tricky part is that Betelgeuse is currently difficult to observe, as it has fallen behind the sun and won't be visible again until at least August. Consequently, we remain in the dark about the current state of this intriguing star. What we do know is that it is behaving irregularly, occasionally brightening. What makes Betelgeuse particularly interesting is its enormous size and relative proximity, about 650 light years away, allowing us to study it in detail. Unlike most stars, which appear merely as points of light due to their distance, Betelgeuse provides a unique opportunity for direct observation of variations in its light output through photography. Thus, not only do we have a star that could potentially explode, but we also have ample data to gather, including images, even if they may be somewhat unclear. Now, let's imagine what would happen if Betelgeuse were to explode as a supernova. It would be a spectacular sight. However, there's no need for concern as Betelgeuse is far enough away that its explosion wouldn't pose any threat to Earth. In fact, it wouldn't even be the brightest object in the sky. The moon would still outshine it significantly. That said, it would create a noticeable display in the night sky, potentially visible during the day for about a year. Interestingly, the supernova would likely be visible at night for several months, gradually fading, although there might be a brief resurgence in brightness before it dims entirely. While this cosmic event wouldn't endanger us, it could indeed create some confusion for wildlife. Certain animals rely on twilight for navigation, and an additional bright light in the sky could disrupt their hunting patterns. Moreover, the increased brightness of a supernova could complicate astronomical observations from Earth, especially during periods of a bright moon. However, many telescopes would undoubtedly be eager to capture the brilliance of the explosion, even if it means adjusting their observational focus. Prior to the actual explosion, we could also detect signs like neutrinos and gravitational waves emitted by the star. The critical question remains. If Betelgeuse has already exploded, can we still detect the remnants? For that, we would need to wait for the James Webb Space Telescope to observe the supernova remnants. As for when Betelgeuse might explode we can't say for sure. It could happen as soon as next week, next year, or in 100,000 years. In astronomical terms, that could be considered virtually immediate. We must remember that the light we see from Betelgeuse is very old. If it exploded 600 years ago, we wouldn't even know it yet. What do you think? Has Betelgeuse already gone supernova? Or is it merely exhibiting unusual fluctuations? Let us know in the comments. The James Webb Space Telescope is undoubtedly the ideal instrument for making these observations, and we shouldn't have to wait too long for it to help unravel the mystery of Betelgeuse. The mission to understand Betelgeuse's behavior and its implications for stellar evolution involves a multifaceted approach, incorporating observational astronomy, theoretical modeling, and historical context. This well-known star, famous for its variability and enormous size, presents a unique opportunity for astronomers to study the life cycles of massive stars and the phenomena leading up to a supernova. Ultimately, it's crucial to grasp the significance of a supernova within the broader framework of cosmic evolution.